would have an impact. We have a dozen. Please, you can take an hour, I know, an hour out of your day. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow. Come stand with us. Brothers, stand with us. Amen. We have signs. And we have signs. Right? We have extra signs. We're there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I, I, I want to say something about that. I, I used to stand in the square for years and years, many years ago. And I, I go come on and off on that. Um, there, are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of things you can do. That's one of them to get people to know that there's something going on. But in 1991, I was part of a wonderful organization, the Monadnock Greens. We had a rally in Central Square to which 400 people came to protest the Iraq war. And it was amazing because there were 400 people in the whole city of Buffalo at their demonstration. And quite a few of the people here were part of that group. And, uh, but we didn't, I don't know, I don't know whether that we had any effect at all, but it, it was something that we did, yeah. Well, I think part answer to your question of why people are yeah. silent yeah. is that people need, a, sometimes people need a specific invitation yes. to come to a specific place and time and speak up. And Paul has just given that to this, yeah. this whole group. Yeah. And I think that uh, your comment about whether we've made any difference or not, I think if I hadn't been out on the square in 91 and on yeah. some other occasions, I might not be a person who would be willing and able to be out on the square in 2012. Yeah. So I think it's made a difference for me, and I think it's made a difference for a lot of people that I know to have been involved yeah. and to have yeah. decided to, to respond to an invitation yes. and, and speak out. So I think uh, the cynicism of, well, did it make any difference or not, I think you know, that's not really for us to say. Yeah. You know, we, we don't ask the leaf on the tree if it's really contributing yeah. to, to decreasing the carbon dioxide in yeah. the atmosphere. It's not for that leaf yeah. to say, but it, it is in fact happening. And if we get enough of us leaves on yes. the tree speaking up to reduce the, yeah. the toxins in the atmosphere about or making, then maybe we'll make yeah. it. It is, it's very helpful for people to see that there are normal people who don't like war. Not that any of us are normal, but you know what I mean. <laughs> that ordinary people here think there's some problem because somebody may not like war, but they may be afraid, thinking that it's, it's such an abnormal thing to do to protest war. But if they just see there are a lot of people who share that concern, and these are your fellow citizens, and you know, up to upstanding citizens or whatever, uh, that, that helps. That helps to <coughs> make people less fearful of doing things. They, because people want to conform. A lot of people feel they need to conform. So if you give them something to conform to that's a little different, that may help. You need to, to create a, a ribbon you know, the yellow ribbon yes. that says support our troops. Yeah. And if you don't want to have a yellow ribbon on your car, <clears throat> um, it's not necessarily that you aren't supporting the individual soldier yeah. over there, because you, I have compassion for that individual yes. soldier, but I, and I don't want to be known as someone yes. that doesn't. Yet, I uh, don't have a s yellow ribbon on or a yeah. green one or whatever yeah. color saying, yeah. um, stop the war. Yeah. Will, you want to say um, I just wanted to, to respond to the feeling that you know, what does it do? What does it do to go out and stand on the corner? Um, you know, a lot of us do a lot of different things. I, I mean, I, I'm gifted with the uh, the, the fact that I get to be a professional peace activist. I'm the one person in the state of New Hampshire because, uh, because people have come before me and built a membership across the state 
who wants somebody working full time uh, to build peace in the state. I get to do that with my life. And sometimes I sit there and go, what, what am I doing? I'm writing, writing letters, I'm sending out emails, I'm having events. What is this doing? Um, because it's really hard to prove a negative. Um, I think it's important that we remember that they have been trying to start a war with Iran since 2004. It's 2012, and we still are not at war with Iran. Um, and that is in no small part, because people are on every street corner. And six people on a street corner might be OK, but if they start a war with Iran, people are going to start moving out into the streets. People are going to see hundreds of people out on the streets. It's not going to work politically, and they know it. Um, and so they are, they are, uh, they are responding to that. And it, it's you know, hard to say, well, we did something because we're not at war. But we did something, and we're not at war because we did something. Um, Iraq, it's important to remember that in Iraq, uh, that status of forces agreement was negotiated by George W. Bush because he had no other choice, because we pressured them into ending that war. Um, it was nine years too many. It was, <laughs> it was uh, you know, 4,000 lives too many. It was, you know, it was, it was, it should never have happened, but it, it ended because we ended it, because we, we did not give up, we did not stop fighting. Ended, in quotes, because obviously we still have a huge base and a whole slew of contractors and 5,000 troops. <coughs> we now need to face Afghanistan, we need to stay vigilant on Iran, um, and we need to address the military budget, um, and we can't, we can't get stuck in this feeling of helplessness. That, oh, what's it going to do if I go out and stand with Jeff and Chris, and, 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 and what's going to happen? Uh, you know, it's not going to do anything, because it does something. Um, you know, writing letters to your congressman, you get back a form letter. Maybe one letter doesn't do anything, but I'll tell you what, everybody in this room write, writes a letter to their congressman and says, please, you know, every week, writes a letter and says, please, yeah. decrease the, the, the Pentagon budget. Um, stop spending so much on war making an empire. And that'll have an impact. So um, don't don't use I don't really have any power to change it to stop fighting um, because the, there are, there are children who are being roasted alive in Yemen and Pakistan and Somalia and Sudan who are counting on you to to fight on their behalf. <laughs>